Welcome to another short travel video covering our trip to Alaska in 2023. In this video, we go to the Alaskan Sea Life Center in Seward, Alaska. Following a gorgeous week at sea, the weather turned rainy and cloudy. We boarded the tour bus and headed off to see parts of Alaska. Here's the lobby of the Alaskan Sea Life Center. The Sea Life Center is both an aquarium, as you see here, and a rehabilitation center for ocean mammals. Here's a sea lion. This sea lion's been here for a long time because of its injuries and difficulties. It can't go back to the wild. They do have some sea mammals who are rehabilitated and released. Here's a harbor seal. They had three or four of them the day we were there. The ones in this tank are mostly ones who are there permanently due to injuries or illnesses. These guys seem to be having a lot of fun and like to show off for people. While you're watching, do me a favor and hit like and subscribe so other people can find my videos. Here we are at Feeding and Sick Call. Part of the process of feeding these harbor seals is making sure that they're not suffering from any additional injuries or illnesses. If any of you watching are old farts like me, you might remember the Exxon Valdez accident in which a huge oil spill covered much of an Alaskan seacoast. Exxon did eventually end up paying a settlement of $900 million to the state of Alaska. $37.5 million from that settlement was used to set up the Sea Life Center. Additional funds were gathered from the people of Alaska, who for the most part are very proud of their natural resources and work hard to preserve their environment. In addition to sea mammals, the Sea Life Center has avian occupants as well. There's a wide variety of Alaskan seabirds, and here's a few of them. And this is by far the noisiest room in the entire center. I hope you've enjoyed this brief video. My next one will cover a wildlife refuge and then we'll do a trip to Denali.